Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to play Cluck Old Hen. It's a short, sweet little tune, and I hope you enjoy it. And as always, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, feel free to click that red subscribe button below so that you don't miss any videos that I have coming up in the future, along with the notification bell so that you're notified each time a new video goes live. So for this one, we're gonna be starting on the E string with an open E. So that's our first phrase. You might've noticed we had a little bit of a slide in there and the note that we slid was a G. So instead of sliding into the G like most slides go, we actually are gonna slide sort of out of the G, almost to a G sharp, but not quite. And the slide happens at the very last second. So instead of a, a usual slide, which would go something like this, we're gonna start on our G and then we're gonna just barely slide out of it at the very last second before we change notes. So it's a very subtle little slide, but one that you can definitely tell is there. For the next phrase, we start again on open E. and then have a little walk down on the A string to open A. And then for the second half of the A section, we actually just repeat both of those phrases that we just learned. So instead of a usual A section in most tunes that we see where there are usually about eight bars of new material, in this case, it is just the two phrases that repeat themselves the second time. And then we go back and we repeat all of that. So one A section is two of the same thing and then we come back and play that again. So technically we're playing the same section four times. So I'll go ahead and play again what we just learned so that you can hear how that sounds and also how the second half of the A section sounds. So that was all of the A section, and now what I'll do is I'll play the whole A section for you so that you can hear how it would sound with the repeat, okay? So feel free to join me for this. One, two, three. So hopefully that all makes sense with the repetition that we have going on in that A section. And then we have a similar form for this B section, although we have a different melody going on here. So we're gonna start with this first phrase of the B section on the A string on an open A. Okay, so again, we have that little slide. This time, it's still on our second finger, but this time it's gonna be on a C natural. And again, we're sliding in a similar way. Instead of sliding into the C, we're sliding slightly out of it at the very last second before changing notes. And then next, we're gonna go up to open A. Okay, and then we repeat those same two little phrases again. So I'm gonna play how all of that sounds together. So again, a short little B section, and like I did with the A section, I'll go ahead and play all of that together so that you can play along with me. One, two, three.
that was all of Cluck Old Hen. Congratulations for learning that one. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to take it to the next level and you're comfortable with the melody, you want to maybe add something more to this tune, you're welcome to add in some double stops. If you're comfortable playing double stops, you can definitely throw as many of those in this tune as you would like. And I did some of that in the opening clip of this video. So if you want to maybe take that as inspiration and use that as an example or as a little bit of a guide for the double stops that you choose to add, you're welcome to do that or just get creative with finding places to add double stops in on your own. And also you can add in additional notes. You might've heard that I did that in the very beginning as well, where I added a few extra notes that were outside of the melody, but still within the key. So you're welcome to play around with that as well. And I hope you have fun with this tune. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know and I will see you in the next video. Happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I link in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.